beautiful people you are welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel good afternoon to you good day depending on the side you are watching me i want to teach you how i'm going to sew this beautiful trouser gown is is it that um the gown they are going to sew with it is that gown that I used to have open by the two sides it's going to be open they use it to wear leggings and they can even actually use it to wear trouser so this is the trouser that we'll be using to wear that so first of all we want to cut out that trouser then after that i'm going to show you how i'm going to cut the gown that is going to have open at the both sides so the first thing you need to do is to fold your material first of all fold your material into two so that you can be able to cut out the front and the back of it so the, this one is the, the front i want to cut out so i folded my material into two as you can see so please watch this video to the end so that you can be able to grab what you are going to teach today do not pause the video watch it to the end so the full length of the person is 38 and we'll be adding two inches for sewing allowance and we'll mark it the full length we we'll mark the full length. The full length is what we, am, we have marked now. Then after that full length, I'm going to minus two inches so I can be able to get my flap. The flap is ten inches. So I'll be minusing two inches. These two inches I'm minusing is for the band. It's going to have band. You understand? So minus that two inches, I'll get my flap, which is ten inches. So the next thing I'm going to get now is my hip. Then I've gotten the minus two inches. I've gotten my flap. This one is my new length. My new length is this, which I have marked now. So I hope you understand and it's clear to you. So after that, I'm going to get my my crotch measurement. That is around my now my round hip measurement. So I'll be, I'll just minus half inches for the size. So the next, what I'm going to do now is to get my waist measurement. This is the waist circumference, which is 41. So that 41 divided by 4. So I, I normally say in my videos that if you're causing trials, that the only thing you divide by 4 is just the weight. Every other thing is by 2. You understand? And I hope people have led that one. So I'll mark it. Uh, mark it so the next thing i'm going to do is to get my crotch measurement some of people they do call it um, um round hip measurements like the round when you measure your leg round and some of us call it couch they call it scratch your couch so you can see divided by four around hip is 30 30 divided by two that is 15. what i got is 15 let's find out it's 15 so i'll mark my 15. So you can see what I've marked and left trying to indicate it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to get my my new measurements. Understand? So you have to minus I'm um, half inches from this side. Understand for the allowance. So I'm going to get my new measurements, which is 25 divided by 2. And I'll mark it. So after marking it, the down measurements for the down side. So I'm going to get my down measurements, which is 20 divided by 2, that is 10 inches. I'll mark my 10 inches. So I'm done with it. As you can see, this is my waist, this is my round hip, and this is my new length. So I'll connect my, my waist to my new length, so I can be able to draw my flap. Understand? So this is it. So this is my flap. Then I will connect it like this. To the ones I've marked. I've connected to the ones I have marked. You can see it. I will take it down. I will take it down. That's it. I'm going to after connecting it, I will connect 
after connecting my waist to my my round hip then i connect this together you can see how it is my waist my my hip round then this is my new length then the other side the downside you understand you can see how the trouser is looking so please i order i see what difficult to the end i'm not done i'm going to show you how you are going to cut out the back side we are going to um cut the back side and i'm going to show you how many inches i are going to put in the back side i'm going to cut you are going to be adding half inches to the one you have cut so i order you should pay attention to what you're going to do pay attention to what you're going to do so that you can be able to learn and you can be able to do it by yourself so guys please if this is the first time of seeing my video you are welcome please like and subscribe to our channel i i i understand that many of us they don't like subscribing to channels it's not good though when you watch something that you find is helpful or you find it interesting it's good to always subscribe and the subscribing is not going to cost you anything after watching this video please try to subscribe it's not going to cost your data it's not going to cost you your money just to hit the subscribe button and you have subscribed it's not going to deduct anything from your account or make it not to be who you are please it's a way it's, it's just to subscribe just hit the subscribe button suppose what the person is doing the person is bringing knowledge to you what you don't know and you, you cannot even subscribe to that person's channel. It's not good though. Please, you should try to be subscribing. I'm not ordering you. I'm just pleading. What pleading? And it's very good to do the right thing. Please, try to subscribe to my channel. Whenever you 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 see something and you think that that thing is helpful to you, please try to subscribe. And it's not going to reduce anything. Just to hit. As you watch, you can hit the subscribe button. And just press the subscribe button and you have subscribed to the person. And it's not going to reduce who you are. It's not going to reduce you so please try to subscribe to our channel and watch the video to the end because i'm, I'm not done with this i'm still going to cut out the upper side of this dress the one they are going to be using to wear this, this trousers so please try and follow me and watch the full video so you can be able to learn it today and most important importantly please try to subscribe it will not reduce you from who you are and it's not going to cost you your data or your money understand just to hit the subscribe button and the important of subscribing is that anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first person to be notified so i'm done cutting the front side i'm going to use this to cut out the back side you understand so please follow and so i'm done cutting the front i'm going to cut out the back side you can see so i place my my material so you can see it have um place my material the way i'm going to cut out the back side so as you have seen it so pay attention you just notch your flap indicate your flap so that your flap will be in the same line so after that you just you just add one and a half inches or two inches to this waist then you take it down as i'm doing my own now just take it down like this then from this side, so you can see it. You just minus from this side. You can actually add from this side. This is this um particular side. You can add from that place two inches. Then from if you're coming inside, you'll be reducing your hand like about half inches, half inches, half inches. You take it down. Why you are doing? You are adding half inches. Is so that the trouser will be in the same line and when after you, when you finish sewing the trouser it will be in the same line and the trouser will be very fitting you understand because if you don't if you add more than this half inches you will end up not getting the trousers um the fitting of the trouser not really that you will end up not getting the the line the line will not be in the same line you understand but if you put half inches like i did to my own now you're going to get a perfect fitting truck and the line will be on the same line very straight and neat so after this i'm going to show you how we're going to cut out the pot you can understand i will show you how you're going to cut out the top this is a it's not it's not really top is a it's kind of gown that gown that i will wear it so after that um, we are going to open it at the both side you open it to the both side it will be open to, to the uh, let me say the waistline you open it to the waistline, then you just sew it. You put know the that gown they used to use to wear trousers. That is what I'm going to cut now. So please, if you have been following me, keep on. What if you go to the end, not possible. I'm still going to cut out that gown. 
Because that gown is what you are going to use to wear this shirt I'm cutting now. You understand? So please focus. Follow me so that we can learn this together. Please. And try to subscribe. Be kind. Why are people not kind? Be kind. You subscribe is not going to cost you anything. It will not cost you anything. Try to be kind. Eh? You finish watching a video, you cannot even subscribe. It's not it's very bad. Once you watch someone's video and you find it's helpful in one way or the other, you subscribe to the person and it's not going to cost you. It will not cost you anything, please. I'm not ordering you with your life. You can decide not to subscribe or you can decide not to subscribe. But please, we are all human. You understand? Just try to hit the subscribe button and pray them with you. So guys, after that, I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut the gown. So please keep on following. Let me finish cutting this one. You can see the allowance I add in the trousers are not that big. Just two inches is okay for from that flap side. Two inches is okay. But if the person is very big and the person is, let me say, very fat you can add two and a half inches and if the person is very slim you cannot put up to two inches just make it one and a half inches so that the trouser will be fitting on the person you understand so guys this is the band i'm going to add the band that is but well, this trouser is going to have band you understand so this is the band after you have cut the band the band i minus two inches for the band so i will be cutting that two inches again let me just say about two and a half so that we just have to sew it then exactly measuring that we need is two inches that is what i will be adding so after you have cut this you iron it after ironing it once you are done sewing your trouser and all that you put pepper gum the essence of putting pepper gum is for the band to have weight you can even put hemming um sorry um gum stay but pepper gum is the one i normally use because it's softer and it's neater you understand so but the one you defeat you can use so i'm done cutting the band the band, the length is not going to be enough for me. I'll be needing another length so that I can join it together and get my band, the length I need for the band. So that is what I'm doing now. As you can see it. So, anyone you didn't fit need, if it's pepper gum or gum stay, you can use it. But mine, what I use is pepper gum. is neater. So guys, I'm done with this. I'm going to sew it. I'm going to join it together after doing it i'm going to put him in um, pepper gum and after that pepper gum i will add it to my trouser after sewing it and that in it all that i put my 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 band to it then put my zip then i'm done with sewing of the trouser it's as simple as that so you understand so this is the material i'll be using to cut out the the top this is about two years here this is about two years so that gown is a simple gown, no? Yes, it's a simple gown. It's very, very simple. So please, pay attention, I can be able to learn it. So this is two years I'm using here. So I want to fold the material into two so I can be able to cut out the front and the back side once. And I'm already saying in my video that it's better to cut material once. And folding the material, cutting it once is better. It's economical. It's going to help, help you economize your material. It's not going to waste your material. But if you're cutting it one one, it's really wasting of material. So guys, I'm done with this. So the full length of the person is 64. You know, I will be using the length of this um, fabric because the length of the person, the person is a bit huge. So I'll be using the full, the whole length of this fabric. So you can see it. So this is it. can see it so i'll be using the whole length of the fabric so the thing i'm going to get now is the the neck which is three and a half inches sorry four inches so the the shoulder is 16 divided by four that is that is how many eight so after that i'm going to get my armhole my arm hold is seven inches. Seven inches. So my arm hold is seven inches. I will mark my arm hold, which is seven inches. No, the person, the person has small body, understand? So I'm going to make the arm hold eight inches. So this is eight inches. My boss. 11 inches, under boss 15 inches, waist 18 inches, 
You understand? So I I don't need to get the hip, but I'm going to mark my hip so that I can be able to indicate it. But not really, because the cloth is going to be open by the by the both sides. So there is no need for that hip, but I'm still going to mark it so that I can, just to indicate what I am cutting so that I can be able to know it. So this is it. So the bust of the person is 47. Sorry, 46. 46 by, by 4. Let's find out. I want to cut out the neck by 1.5 inches. Cut my neck. After covering the neck, I will get my body circumference. I told you that the bust is 36. Not a six forty six divided by four. Let's find out what I got is is twelve and a half. Then I'll add two inches for sewing allowance. Then my under boss is forty two. The person has she's bossy. The under boss is forty two divided by four. That is 11. So I'll add 2 inches so in allowance. Then my waist. So this is it. So the waist is 14. 45 divided by 4. Let's find out. So I'll mark it. Then I'll put 2 inches for so in allowance. Then I'll just connect it together. Down. I'll just connect it down. So I've connected it together down. I told that this both side is going to have open. This is a very simple gown. You understand? That's why I say you should oh, you should try and pay attention that I can be able to grab this one. So you can see the armhole. I've cut my armhole. So I'm going to go ahead to cut it out. This is it. I'll be cutting it out. Cutting it out. After cutting it, I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut out the hand side. So please be following us so that anytime I upload the video, you'll be the first person to be it. It's fine. You understand? So I've cut this out. So I'm come cutting it. After cutting this, I will show you how you're going to cut out the hand. So please try to follow us. This is a very simple gown. And it's very easy to sew. Just join the shoulders together, pipe the neck. After piping the neck, you add the you add the hand, then fold the side, both sides, you fold it, fold the full length, and you are done with this. It's very, very simple. So this is what I'm cutting out. After cutting it, I'm going to cut out the hand. It's going to have a a short hand the sleeve is going to be a short sleeve so please try you are not done with this we are still going to cut out something so please try and still follow so that i can be able to watch this video to the end very very important so this is it so i'll be cutting out the neck So this is it. And I'll slant I'll slant my shoulder. This is it. So guys, I'm done with cutting out this one, but I'm going to cut out the, the front. I'm still going to bring the neck down. It's going to be a V neck. Bringing it down by eight inches. Then I will just cover it, just a V neck. 
So I'll bring out the, the material. I'll separate it so that I can be able to cut the the neck down. So this is a v-neck, just trying to curve my v-neck to get it. This material is very, very light. The shock is not showing on it, but I, I believe that you are you are able to see and understand what I'm doing. So I've curved my neck. As you can see, it's very, it's very, it's very fine. So this is it. So I'm going to cut out the hand. I'm going to cut out the hand. So this is the hand. I joined it because the material is not in mouth. I used only two years in sewing this. So this is my my armhole length that I've got. So my then my long sleeve, ten inches. I have two inches sewing allowance. My long sleeve is eight inches and I have two inches sewing allowance, making it ten inches. So my my round sleeve is fourteen divided by two that is seven. Then I'll, I'm going to put one inch is making it eight and is the whole length of the of the cloth. So that is it. I'll be cutting it out. I'm trying to manage this. I'm trying so much to manage what I'm cutting because the material I'm just managing the material. So I'm trying so much to manage the material very well. So this is it. So you can see it. So you can see the armhole. You can see it. So I'll just um, notch my my sleeve. Then I'm done with this.